Your breast milk is vitally important for your baby. Unlike formula, human milk is full of essential proteins, antibodies, and other protective substances that only your milk can provide to your baby. Feeding your milk will help lower the chance that your baby will develop serious complications, such as infections, inflammation, or bowel disease. This is especially true when your milk is fed during the first weeks after birth. Your milk may come in slowly during the first few days after birth, don't worry, this is common. The first milk your body makes, colostrum, has the highest amounts of your milk's protective substances. Loaded with these specialized protective substances, every drop that you remove should be collected and saved to feed your baby. Getting the right support is critical. Ask to see a trained breastfeeding clinician or lactation consultant as soon as possible. If your baby is unable to breastfeed, breast pumping will help you build and maintain your milk supply. You should begin pumping your breasts with the two-phase hospital-grade electric breast pump as soon after birth as you are able, within six hours after birth, or even earlier if possible. Breast pumps are simple to use. Your nurse will help you learn how to use the breast pump and make sure that your breast shields, the parts that fit over your breasts, have the proper fit. Check with the hospital for recommendations on breast pump rentals so that you can use a hospital-grade breast pump at home as well. Most WIC agencies also carry hospital-grade pumps for eligible participants. Pumping for your baby takes dedication and commitment. To help build and keep your milk supply up, pump every two to three hours. Your milk supply depends on regular and effective removal of milk from your breasts. Pump for 15 minutes, or up to two minutes after the milk stops dripping. It is essential to keep track of the amount of milk you pump in your breast pumping log. This will help your nurses ensure that you're building a proper milk supply and identify any issues as soon as possible. Getting the right fit for your breast shields is important, so ask your nurse for help. Using the right size shield will make pumping more comfortable and efficient. Remember, breast pumping should never be painful. Here are some important things to remember when you start pumping. First, be sure to wash your hands. Express milk in a comfortable place. Minimize interruptions. Try hanging a Do Not Disturb sign up. Think about your baby. Look at pictures and pump at your baby's bedside if at all possible. Massage your breasts briefly before pumping. Be sure to center your nipple in the breast shield. And begin pumping at the highest vacuum you can use and still feel comfortable. Your baby's nurse will show you how to collect and label your breast milk and colostrum. The NICU uses sterile milk containers, and your nurse will give you a few to use at home. Freshly expressed breast milk can be kept in the refrigerator for 96 hours and can be frozen for long periods of time. Once your milk is thawed, it must be fed to your baby within 24 hours. Be sure your milk labels are filled out and easy to read. Use a transport bag to bring your breast milk from home to the hospital. If you have too much breast milk to fit into the bag, you can use any type of insulated cooler that will keep it chilled while you travel. Keep the cooler in the freezer and use a cooling element to ensure maximum chill time. Most premature babies are allowed to go home from the hospital before they are able to feed at the breast as actively as a full-term baby. So you may need to use a breast pump to remove the milk that may be left in your breast. This will maintain your milk supply until your baby is able to nurse like a full-term baby. Once your baby comes home, you might also find it helpful to rent a special scale to keep track of your baby's milk intake. After each use, it is very important that you wash your hands thoroughly and then completely clean all of the breast pump parts that touch your breast milk. Once a day, your breast pump kit should be sanitized by placing the parts in a large pot of boiling water for about 10 minutes, or microwaving the kit parts in a quick clean microsteam bag. Carefully follow the instructions on the bag. When you do go home, be sure to ask your healthcare provider for further breastfeeding support should you need it, so you can continue to give your baby the best.